my name is Ami Mugani and I work for Progression Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a copy of a part and a drawing. Um, sometimes you'll make a part in a drawing and you want to make another part in drawing that's very similar to the original, but you want to make a few changes. And you can do this very easily without having to do um, that drawing all over again. So here in, um, in this folder I have a part called File References and then I also have a drawing called File References. So let me go ahead and open the drawing up so you can see what it looks like. And it's just a simple block with four counterbore holes. And in this case maybe I want to create another part that's just like it but maybe with only two counterbore holes. So let me open the part, okay, and this is where I might do a save as or save as copy function. Now if I did a save as function, that would change the file name for this part that we're looking at and also any active documents that are referencing this part, which would be the drawing we just saw in the previous window. But I don't want to do that. I want these two files to stay as they are and I'm simply wanting to duplicate them using a different file name. So to duplicate it, we're going to use the save as copy function. So I'm going to go to file, save as, and I'm going to do save as copy. Okay, this is the same thing as just simply selecting this checkbox here. So maybe instead of file references, I'll call it new file references. Or you might have a part number that you're using. So I'm going to call this new file references and hit the save button. But notice that my active document still says file references. Now this is a common mistake. A lot of people think that when they do the save as copy, that new file name is the active one. So make sure you pay attention to the file name shown here at the top of the screen. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go back to the drawing and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a file save as, and do new, and then I'm going to make sure it says save as copy. Save. So again, that's not the active document which is okay. So I'm going to close this drawing And now I'm going to actually make uh, changes to the new file references. I want to hide two of the counterboard holes. So let's go ahead and open that part. So I'm going to open new file references. New file references. I want to open the part. Okay, open. And let me make my modifications. Um, I've got my original counterboard hole and then I have my pattern. In this case, I want to omit instances, so I'm going to right-click on the linear pattern, edit it, and then choose instances to skip. So I'm going to choose just the pink dots for the items I want to exclude. Hit the green check mark to accept. And yes, this is my new file references. This is the part that I want to keep now. Okay, let's save this. Um, now let's see what the drawing looks like. Remember, we did a save as copy for both the part and the drawing. Um, and now I've made modifications to the new part, but I now want the drawing to reflect those changes. So what I'm going to do is open new file references. Now here's a trick. When you select the drawing, there's a button here that says references. This tells me that the new file references drawing reflects the original file references part, which is not what we want. We actually want to swap out those models. So before I do anything here, I just want to show you what happens. I'm going to just double click on new file references. And you see that it's referencing the original part, not the new one. And that's because we haven't asked SolidWorks to swap out those models. All of these drawing views are referencing the original file references part. Okay, so let's close this. 
let's go back to that open window and I'm going to go to new file references and choose the references button and this is where I have the option to swap out models so I can simply double click and I'll get a new window and I want to swap that part out for new file references and you'll see that change appears in green text and you can hit the OK button to accept it. Now those models are swapped and I can open that drawing and you'll see that those two holes are, are omitted. I have the correct file name. I also have the correct part referenced in each drawing. So let's go back to that open window. Now you can see I have two very unique parts and drawings, each with their own name, yet I didn't really have to do too much work um, and my drawings are consistent from one to another. So again, to just duplicate your drawing, you want to use the save as copy function. I'm Ami Nagani and I work for Progression Technologies. Thank you for watching.